literally did not sleep. Um, I'm at the airport right now, on my way to Italy. This is crazy. So, I got myself a coffee and two croissants. So good. Sorry, I haven't really vlogged like certain things, just be especially when traveling, just because it's really stressful traveling alone and with all the like COVID restrictions. I literally can't right now. So once we landed, I met up with Tilon and her family and we had a three hour drive from Rome to Naples. Here's us in the car with her brother Liam. That's me sleeping because I didn't sleep. Like I went out that night and did not sleep. And then we used this thing to carry our luggage down because we had a ton of luggage and you can't bring it down the stairs because the property is so big. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Once we arrived, we got to check out the property and see the pool, which is insane. It has such a pretty ocean view. And then we had dinner, which the owner's mother cooked us, and it was so good. So we woke up pretty early, and the villa that we were staying in had a chicken coop. So Tilon's little brother and I went down to investigate and collect some eggs. Uh, you like egg? yeah, totally right there. Wait, no. they're going in the cave. Yeah, we have to go in the cave. Then hit each other. Okay. See any more? Let's check. The weather was literally so nice. The sun was amazing. So I sat in the sun, read my book, tanned, and played in the water. Okay, so Tiwan's mom just made lunch. We have pasta, some mozzarella. <laughs> Come on, I want to hear your accent. Oh God, I'm going to butcher it. Mozzarella. So we have mozzarella. Mozzarella. Tomatoes. <laughs> olives. What is this? Chicken. I think chicken she found chicken. those peppers from the garden. She found the chicken from the garden. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead. Get to the, the helicopter would have to come. guys Tilon and I just got ready we like we had a couple outfit all changes matchy. yeah but we're all matchy and today we're going to Sorrento yeah which is really close by so, so fun. see you there yeah. what is it Simone oh, this is cute. it's good <laughs> it's good <laughs> yeah don't actually taste it look do this mmm no, it tastes it's sweet like honey. it tastes like honey yeah we drove down into Sorrento, which was really pretty, lots of mountains, and we were going because we were making our own gelato. Also, Sorrento is famous for its lemons. Like, there's so many, and I've actually never seen that before. Like, there's just several growing on trees. We go down in a cool, more cool here. When you see the lemons, they are perfect. All same size, perfect skin. Mm. Stay far from that lemon. Okay. This is the real from our gardens. This is the typical Sorrento lemon. The best of the lemon is the skewer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like this. Okay. I didn't get her saying this, but how they make the sorbet is literally just fresh fruit, water, and sugars. So first Tilon got all of the lemon zest off and then my turn was to cut open the lemon and then get the juice from it using this little machine. And now we have just the mixing and frozen. Then all we had to do was combine the lemon zest with the lemon juice and pour it into the sugar mixture. The lemon zest and the syrup. Yeah. Good job, and then we have oh. Water, sugar, fruit. So creamy. Wow, this is what we just made. <laughs> very good, girls. You know what? We spend a lot of Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. You like it? It's so, so fresh. fresh. Yeah. 
You know, it's the lemon. Just mm. so natural, the taste of lemon. I know, and it's not even yellow. Exactly. Like... When you see it's yellow, <laughs> yeah. girls, oh, what means it's made with the syrup. Uh. Ooh. Isn't that so what? good? <laughs> How is good? We say Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia! So we just finished making gelato and it was really good. Simone, did you like it? Yes. <laughs> Can we get some drinks at a little restaurant? Um, Yes, thank you. Day. Have a good day. Oh my gosh, I'm such a tourist. I just had to get some stuff for my mom um, and Mabel because I realized I did not get them anything in London or Paris. Oh my god, did you not? <laughs> we walked to the Bellevue Siren. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, it's a really pretty hotel and we just sat there and got some drinks before dinner. This was honestly one of the best Aperol spritzes I had this summer. It was so freaking good. So we just went to Bellevue, we had a drink, and now we are back walking around the town. That street looks cool. We just walked down so far, and now we're at dinner. I'm just hitting her now. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> we just finished dinner. Oh my god, Leo. <laughs> and the waiter was flirting with both of us? <laughs> yeah. My parents didn't love that. Hey, bestie. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there there was a mysterious and, waiter. And the parents were around. Thank you. Yes, he asked us out in front of Tilon's parents. And I signal chopping his head off. <laughs> uh, it didn't go too well for him. <laughs> he was hiding in the freezer, but then he brought us limoncello. <laughs> he winked. <laughs> and he oh, and winked he at winked. me. Now Liam is torturing me. <laughs> and Simone was beyond embarrassed <laughs> that that all occurred. I don't know what's happening right now. I always thought that you were on my side. And I was on your side. And I was so happy that you were on my side. Guys, we are in the countryside right now. I'm not sure what the exact location is, but I'll put it in. <laughs> um, and it's really early. And we just got some espresso and cappuccino. into context this day we were doing a tour of a farm and to get up to the farm we all had to take this little like mario kart type thing and i don't know it was really cool i've never done that before and yeah these are olive trees like everywhere it's so cool and liam is obsessed with this dog named tommy is this your new best friend Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wait, this looks crazy. Time, we can see. The season? Because the one the month, season. yeah, in the one month they will be ready to be picked. Oh, it's one month? Yeah. But they're so little. Yes. <laughs> this is just like fairway. You can come closer. <laughs> fairway dreams. I know. Full circle. Full circle. In New York, everywhere, we would try all of the olive oils. Um, because I have a whole section where you can sample it. No, we taste the difference. Yeah, 
Because every time first, I print that, uh, try I say that's a basil, that's all right. And is every time spicy? they answer, uh, they mm. uh, ask me again, which is all right. Mmm. The lemon is nice. The lemon is nice. I love the lemon one. Just the zest. Mm -hmm. Just the perfume. I love the, the orange one. one. I think it's. Tommy is not even eating. Get out. This one is basil. Okay. Okay. So far, I think the lemon. Is my Still the lemon. This one is orange. Luckily for us, we are in a farm, so we have all the these tests. Why not? But many too. That like for you know, you come from New York, you don't say what these are. No. Rosemary. Orange one. I just said the orange one. It tastes like olive oil. Mm, that's so good. Ready? Well, I love rosemary. Example, if you like the... This is for uh, olive oil. For cheese later you taste provolone del Monaco. If you buy parmigiano, pecorino, prosciutto, the parma, DOP. DOP means the real that comes from that area. So after sampling all the delicious olive oils, he showed us where he keeps his prosciutto, provolone, and cheese, meats, all that kind of stuff. This is our code, RT010, it's my code. Each producer has a code, but before to be stamped, you see, no, no stamped. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to see pigs. pigs. Do you hear that? You can hear them. <gasps> oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. Oh my God. This is my little brother George. This is Mommy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> In 20 days. These pigs are only three days old. Yeah. So cute. It doesn't smell so good in here, though. <laughs> yeah, he warned me. But I wanted to see the pig, so. Oh, no. <laughs> These are the cows? Yes. <laughs> That's Asunta, the oldest. She's the oldest? Oldest. Asunta is uh, 14 years old. <laughs> this was just born an hour ago. Yeah, 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 an hour ago. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> butt is like dilating. She she wants cheese. I know. Mom, can I borrow your water? Ooh, can I have some cheese? Uh, uh, go wash your hands. I I um. Mmm. <laughs> I didn't even touch him. It's like rich. That's a cow milk? Yeah. Straight from the cow. And what do you, what do you put in? Yeah. Okay, so now he's making mozzarella cheese, which is really cool because I've made ricotta cheese in science before, but I've never seen this. And he's just using fresh cow's milk, like straight from the cow, and adding yeast to it. All right, we need to reach 55 Celsius degrees. Mm. You have to know that the cheese uh, starts to melt at 45. We need uh, 10 degrees more to release. Oh, that is That's so up. cool! <laughs> <laughs> you know like curds and whey. Yeah. This is how we arrive to that point. Okay. Just breaking. Breaking you will separate in curds, that is the cheese, and the whey, that is the liquid. Mm. It means Everything well. Nice. Whoa! That's the original. Where the name comes from? From cow milk, fresh cheese. Okay, that's the typical oh, tradition. Wow. Okay. Like that. See, that's typical. Okay. That's beautiful. What does cutting the cheese mean? Yeah. What does that mean? It's burning. Oh, farting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered two years ago. <laughs> no, every day. It's in the five, ten minutes, ready to it's be It's like panna cotta. Yeah, looks like a panna cotta. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky cheese. Squeaky. 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 Squ
Squishy teeth. 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 Squishy So for the last part of our tour, we went to go see all of the lemon trees that they had and it was honestly so cool and we got to take the little Mario Kart thing again. This has been here for like six generations since 1894. I'm gonna pick one. Ooh, I see a good one. Ooh. Ooh. I think I need to rub this on my body for the mosquitoes. For the mosquitoes, you have to pick a lemon. Oh, pick a lemon? Yeah. <laughs> This is a typical size? Yeah. Wow. Ah. I'm gonna smell it. When they show you the big Isn't lemon. <laughs> a typical lemon size. It smells good, it smells sweet. Look at the whole tree. Here's some more pictures from the rest of the day. It was so fun and honestly such a cool experience. And then we went back to the villa and just kind of hung out for a little. We are making sorbetto. Well, Tilan already. Wait, I'm looking for the lemon thing. I put it somewhere. Now I forgot where I put it. Tilan already made the boiled like the sugar in the water, and we're gonna do the lemon part now. Yeah. After this, we had dinner and then went swimming and went to bed because we had a really long day. Ah, oh, sorbetto reveal. Where'd it go? Oh wait, didn't we put it in the other yeah. fridge? Sorbetto reveal. Oh, sorry. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, it actually kind of is. Should we leave it longer? I don't think I explained this earlier, but every day we were here, we would be doing something, and then every other day we would not be doing something. So today was more of a chill day. So we just kind of hung out by the pool, and then we got ready for dinner. And I just thought this was so funny because <laughs> I love this dress, and then I almost got stung by a bee. Um, so one thing that was really cool about the villa we stayed in was that the owners would come back a lot and like cook meals and stuff for us, like different things every time. So this night... Uh, Vincenzo, the owner, had people, because there was a pizza, like, there was, like, a pizza oven, um, in, on the property, um, so he had, um, people come over and cook, like, his pizza recipe for us, and it was fire, so the guy's, like, basically showing us how he does it, and yeah. This is my own pizza recipe, dough recipe, okay, and I usually mix a 70% of a regular flour, double zero flour, and a 30% of another type of flour, it's a little thinner than the regular flour. There is a, a, a friend of mine who owns a pizzeria just in New York, in Manhattan. It's a pizzarte. It's an art gallery with a pizzeria inside. Oh, cool. And that was very good. No, like up this, and down, up and down. Like this, like this. Why? Mommy, yours has so much flour. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a circle. So I'm a little impaired right now. Really good. June 24th. That was the best. I'm 
You guys, like, this has kind of ruined food for me. <laughs> American food. Wait, what's I can never have gelato again. I can't even look at the sheriff's dog. Good. So now you'll only eat it today. The tomatoes, yeah. You have to check to see if it says DOP. I thought that was only for olive oil. Apparently it's for everything. Well, That's okay. to my favorite. Was the what was your favorite? Margarita? Ooh, margarita. Yeah. Second favorite was the first one. Which yeah, the crispy bread. Yeah, and then the third so favorite was the broccoli. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sausage. Which is still really good. <laughs> Me too. This has been like a pizza sampling. Yeah. Thank God for lactate. <laughs> yeah, thank God for lactate. <laughs> Before going to bed, we went to go check up on our ice, and it looked pretty good. We made it to the boat! Yeah! <coughs> this area that we're in really looks like um, Luca, the movie, the kids' movie. Thank you! So guys, we are in Sorrento. <laughs> so bright! <laughs> No, it is so bright. Oh, wow. We're on the boat. I can't even like look in that direction. So we started sailing away from Sorrento, which as I, I think now you can see, like it literally does look like Luca. Um, and down like the Amalfi Coast, and the water was unbelievable. And we also stopped in front of this like waterfall thing, which is. First stop of where we went is called Legali, and it's like a bunch of little islands um, where there were allegedly sirens. And I think what's really cool is we could see those are the little islands that you can see from our villa, and then we could kind of see the villa from the water. Hey guys, it's currently like 3 p.m. We already. Tan. I'm super tan. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Look at your butt. Yeah, I almost burnt my butt off because I didn't want to put sunscreen on, but I did. And yeah, we had lunch. We had tomato and mozzarella sandwiches, which were really good. Mm -hmm. We saw <laughs> Liam. This is Liam, if you guys didn't already know. We saw the I like famous island where LeBron James was staying for like three weeks, apparently. Mm -hmm. It's like a private island. We basically went all around the Amalfi Coast and we just stopped by Positano, mm -hmm. which was so pretty. We took some pictures and Tilan and I <laughs> Liam at the back. And Tilan and I jumped off of a cliff, which we did not record, <laughs> yeah. but it's in our we minds forever. Our phones. <laughs> Look at the water. It's so pretty here. So on the way back, we saw this blue water cave, which honestly, like the water, I mean, you can see it for yourself. It was just insane. Uh, but yeah, we just headed back home and then I got this very nice message from my dad. Hey Lily, it's your dad. Give me a call so we can coordinate um, your return to the US, okay? Bye, love you. So despite having like such a long, awesome day, being the young women we are, we wanted to go out on the town and it was just so funny because all these people kept like hitting on us and we ended up finding and meeting these guys that took us to a cool um, nightclub spot in Sorrento. guys! Yesterday we went on the boat and then we came home we had like a five course dinner yeah, it was intense. It was very intense, which it had. We had fried mini pizza. <laughs> Simone. Uh, we had like zucchini flour. Uh, those were my favorite ones. I think the main course was cod, and then we had a pasta dish with shrimp, which was really good. Um, and then Tilan and I went out with her parents, and we split up. We ended up yeah, finding. We, go out with we didn't them. actually go out with them, but like we took a car there and back together. And we found this cool, I guess, piano bar situation. Yeah. Um, and then today I didn't really vlog because we just, we literally just read all day. 
and just chilled at the villa. And I finished my book, which was really good. And now we are going out for dinner. Original grape Saint Sorrento, the name of the grape Palangina. On our way to Pompeii. I'm sorry. God, look at these lemons. These are the biggest freaking lemons I've ever seen. Some picture, please. You can take. <laughs> Thank you. Troublemaker, where is Mama? Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. If you open up, if you open up the seeds. This is a literal pomegranate, just right there. Ooh, here we go. Uh, talk about the vegetation. Uh, if the vegetation is so lush, it's not thanks to the rain. Because we don't get rain anymore, right? It's four miles. It's... We just saw the male bats. And do you want to be my video? See? What did you just show us? We saw, <laughs> <laughs> we saw one of the six public baths and one of the 25 brothels yes. of Bordello. Yes, we saw the brothel. Let's stop right <laughs> We actually had the funniest tour guide ever, and I was so excited because if you follow me, you know that I love history, and I've never been to a site that's like more well-preserved. So, There's a fossil in here. See, Let's see it's if we can right find here, it. three leaves. Look at that, look oh. how beautiful they are. Wow, that's crazy. This is fast food area. So this part was really cool to see all the artifacts that have been preserved, but there was also bodies, which I didn't know how I felt about that, but I just like couldn't believe how everything was in such good condition. These grooves are from the chariots. And then those are speed bumps. Or oh, stepping stones. Or stepping stones. <laughs> speed bumps and stepping stones. That's an amazing water fountain as well right here. Made out of marble. Marble and fountain. An amazing water right here that nobody knows. Uh, my wallet is very good. <laughs> so if you don't know what Pompeii is, it's basically like a huge archaeological site in Italy near Naples, um, and it once was like a huge thriving city. Um, until it was buried under mountains of ash because of um, Mount Vesuvius, like what me and Tiwan were standing in front of, like it erupted. Um, and yeah, it was so cool to see everything so well preserved. And there was also so many like cool little like facts about it. Um, like he said that they found 61 bags of feces preserved apparently. But yeah, a lot, there's still like a lot of like weird mystery surrounding it and like a lot of different facts and stuff but it's been there for like several several years so yeah after this we went to a winery and it was really cool because it's right beneath mount vesuvius so there is volcanic um i guess like essence in the soil that they grow the grapes to make the wine with so we got to see the cellar and everything it was really cool so here we have white wine goes first rosé and then red and we got some snacks and this is so cool. Oh, I also got the spaghetti. Yeah. Yummy. Oh my god, it looks so bad. Tiwana and I put the water from the fountain in Pompeii, like, in our, in our hair. Our hair is like crisped. My eyes are disgusting. All right, we're turning this off. Wine tasting advice for Christina Let's go. Look at the color, you see how nice and dark that is? Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you see how it is? <laughs> you want to stick like your whole face, your whole face in it. <laughs> afterwards, to air it, spin it. Like this? Yes. 
and then you stick your face in it again. Okay. I'm gonna be trying a deep red wine. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. How do you do this again? Sniff. Open it. Hold it by the stem. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to heat up the glass. But you missed the last part of the like aerating wine. Oh, this part. Oh, oh, oh. Like you're smoking it. <laughs> and then breathe out your nose. You, you, taste you taste it? <laughs> I'm just gonna drink this. You can turn it. You can put it on the and move it like this. Really if you can do it like It tastes like good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're technically not 18 yet, but we will be 18 in two weeks. Like less than a month. with Guardians, it's okay. Yeah. And we're with Guardians, so. After the wine tasting, we decided to head into Sorrento again just to get some film, do some shopping, and look at all the shops. There you go, that is good. <laughs> Alright, now we're in a like store shopping. We pretty much just walked the entire like back streets of Sorrento, or at least like the tourism thing where you get the souvenirs. And I want to do a haul when we get home later because I got tons of stuff. Yeah, super sad. Yeah, and I got some stuff for my college dorm too. <laughs> um, some really fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now Tiwan and I are looking for some film because it's so pretty here and we literally have used up all of our film. Yeah. So I felt like I didn't really show off how insane the place we were staying in was. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when you walked down through the entrance um, because it is such a massive property. So as you can see, it is extremely high up, like on a cliff, and we are like directly looking out onto the ocean. Um, and there are so many stairs. So this is a well water that comes to, uh, from the mountains there's a huge bee. So over here is like a bridge and there's a tree house up there. Also a ton of these plants that I'm walking by are like completely edible. There's fig trees growing all up there. Oh we have to do the sunrise tomorrow. Maybe we'll just stay up tonight. <laughs> More pretty flowers, this bench, ocean, honeysuckle. It's like a two minute walk. And here we are. Such a pretty sunset. So we cooked pasta for dinner, which was immaculate, and there was a full moon, so it was so pretty. And then later that night, we wanted to go out in Positano. So we went to this beautiful house, and then we ended up finding this really nice nightclub that they were only letting locals in, but we made friends with the guy at the door, and his name was Pepe, and he was awesome. <laughs> We've seen this boat probably like five or six times. It's gone in front of our house. We saw it the other day on the water. It's crazy because it's like going pretty viral on Instagram right now. And it's like in the same water as us. Today we are going to Capri and I'm super excited. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Buongiorno America. Look at the water. I'm about to jump in.
So after jumping in at our first spot, the next spot we went to was called, I think the Blue Grotto, Grotto, if that's how you say it. And it was this gorgeous, like clear green blue water cave that we went swimming in. And I brought my disposable camera and got some really cute pictures. We stopped in Capri and we're now getting some snacks and drinks. The water is so blue. It's like a different like kind of blue. It's not even like the Caribbean. Ah, I've never seen a place more beautiful than this. It's amazing. So we just sat and got drinks there, which were really good, and took some pictures, and then we moved the boat kind of closer to the rocks and hung out there and went diving for a little bit. <laughs> We're at the famous rocks. Of the famous rocks? Yes. <laughs> Baraglioni! Sorry, sorry if we butchered that pronunciation. But this is really cool. Finally, we stopped the boat around the famous rocks and just sat there for a really long time swimming. Like, it was just the most incredible experience ever. It was such a golden day. It was so much fun and just so, so beautiful. This is heaven. <laughs> Virgin Mary. <laughs> a bunch of like small ones. Wait, stuff. yeah, okay. That's not actually a statue. I thought it was. That makes it even more creepy. Look at all the stagglemites though. She's a virgin. Yeah. We've had the best day. Capri is it's so great. The prettiest she place ever. She's holding a baby. Oh, why are we getting closer? <laughs> Okay, so I know now it is December and this was all done in August. So thank you guys for being so patient with me um, for this vlog. I had so much fun editing it and I had like this was probably one of my favorite trips that I've ever gone on. Literally so many golden memories. I love Tilon and her whole family, the Alcalays. Thank you, Christine, for letting me come with you guys. You guys should go check out Christine Alcalay's YouTube. She's a designer. She's a great cook. Like she um, basically organized all of those amazing activities you saw us do. Um, and yeah, I'm so grateful for that trip. I literally like look back at the pictures at least a couple times a week. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>